Hello, hello, Virgo, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling hidden truth messages. This is what maybe somebody would like to tell you, um, whether you are talking to them or not talking to them. They could even be living in the same home with you, and maybe they just don't know what to say. I am so attracted to you. Somebody's got a crush on you, Virgo. These universal energies. Let me get two more messages. Secret admirer. Could be a secret admirer. Somebody is truly attracted to you and they don't know what to say. Okay, let's see. I want to tell you how I feel. Listen, do I need to say more? Okay, so some of you, you know, somebody wants to have a conversation with you about how they feel, that they're attracted to you, that they like you. Please, universal energies. Let me get one more for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'm only going to take one. You speak to me through music. Remember back in the days when people used to dedicate music to one another? I don't really know if that happens today, but, you know. All right, please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Let me get one message from my, my little dark oracle. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So some of you really need to get out of that. You know, there's something here that you continue to repeat in your mind and it's not giving you rest. It's making you exhausted, if anything, you know. Sometimes when you continue to think and replay things in your mind, you're so overthinking the whole thing. That is just, you know, it's something from the past. It's something that you need to get rid of. It's something that you need to gain clarity over. Please, universal energies. Let me get three messages. You, be, you begin with the strength and you have the knight of pentacles. So here we go with the nine of wands. I feel that for some of you, you're trying to be strong about something. You're trying to keep your feet on the ground. You're trying to take a break because you know what? Some of you have been wounded in the past and you're like, I'm going to be careful where I put my energy. Um, I feel that in the past, there was a situation that took you or someone else a long time to get out of, you know, it took you a long, could have taken you a long time to get out of this situation. You know, um, let's see, let me get one more. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody that comes in super slow, super slow, okay? And they just, they just believe that they have, that you should have all day for them to come to you, you know? God forbid you're in a burning tower. God forbid if you are falling from this burning ladder, you know, they won't be there to pick you up. These universal energies, let me see. Ace of Pentacles, I'm going to take the other two as a bonus because uh, they just continue to fall out. The Ace of Pentacles, some of you are ready for something new. There's a brand new opportunity here, Virgo, that it's going to bring you a certain amount of money, you know, a certain amount of work. You know, this is going to be good for you in the, in the, in the near future, I'm hearing. Um, you also have here the, the Knave of Cups and the queen of swords okay so i feel that some of you are sending somebody a message and being very firm with them you know you could be telling them something you could be saying you know what this is what i have decided to do and you know some of you i don't know i'm kind of picking up that some of you are starting a new cycle even though i don't see it here but there is a new opportunity let's see what else we have here why is the night i'm going to clarify all the cards so we're going to see Knight of Wands. Why is it here for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Six of Pentacles. See, I feel like you're finally trying to balance out your situation. I feel like for some of you, you were involved with somebody who probably had somebody else. You were involved in what seems to be like some kind of third party. Some of you could have been hiding this person. This person could have been hiding you. And that's why you're like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I got to be strong about this. Mm -mm. Why is the six of pentacles here? Let's clarify the six of pentacles. Why is it here for Virgo? 
sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Listen, it's the end of a situation, okay? You finally reach the end of the road with this situation. This is why there's a new beginning here. This is something that for some of you has been um, a continual chaos, you know? It's something that has put you in a bad place. It's the end of a brutal road. It's like somebody just stabbed you to death and just left you in the woods to die. You know, um, so for some of you, I feel like you are going through some type of recovery because, you know, this person could have put you through the fucking grinder. You know, why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, I got two. See? You get, you get here the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, I feel like you were in a situation or let me tell you something. This is still going to cause you problems when you walk away from this, you know? I feel like for those of you that walk away with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like whatever you put your mind to, you are going to receive whatever the universe has for you. It's always gifts, you know? Things that you are worthy of. Some of you could be putting a lot of work into, um, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing at your workplace, you know, and let me tell you, some of you have money coming to you. For those of you that are balancing out your money, money is coming to you. Okay, I have several different scenarios here. Um, we also have here the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that do not move away from this ending slowly, the universe is going to come in and divide your road. And then you're going to be like, where do I, you're going to stay in the place where you're meant to be. You know, and it's going to seem harsh because usually when the wheel of fortune comes in, it, it comes in almost like a tower moment. You know, it's a, it's a change in destiny. It's a change in your fate. It's a change in your yellow brick road. You know, let's see. <clears throat> Nine of cups. Listen, wherever the universe puts you, it's so that you can search for your happiness. You know, sometimes we stay in places, you know, we stay in places way too long and that forbids us from being happy, you know, with, oh, actually this is the 10. Yeah, the 10, well, the 10 of cups, it's, um, some of you are looking for marriage, you're looking for your happiness, you are looking for all the things that life has to offer for some of you, I'm going to be honest, this ending is going to bring in a new relationship or a new life that's filled with love and marriage. You know, it's going to be filled even with children. <clears throat> but you are going to be happy for her goal. Sometimes the universe really does have your back. You know, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Three of Swords. I feel like some of you were heartbroken by this person in the past. You know, this person just didn't show up for you the way that you wanted them to. I feel like there could have been a third-party energy here with the Five of Wands simply because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, competition and arguing and fighting. And that's also my fuckery card, you know, which is, um, you know, when it comes to the Five of Wands, it's like you having to defend yourself, you know, and it's like you defending yourself against other people. And, you know, talking about the Nine of, of Cups before, here it comes. Here it is. Okay. Nine of cups. The universe is willing to give you some happiness. You know, as long as you are strong enough to put an end to the things that no longer are for you. I feel like in the past <clears throat> you were betrayed by this person. You know, this person broke your heart. You thought you were going to be happy with them, but at the ends of the road, they really didn't give you what you needed. You know, Sometimes it's like that. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Some of you could be, okay. Some of you are waiting for that opportunity, okay? You're waiting for your rewards and your ships to come in. You're waiting for something to change in your life. You know, sometimes you just got to be a little patient. There might be a small delay on you um, earning some better money, on you find, uh, on, you know, this opportunity is going to come to you, but you may have to be a little patient, you know, why is the three of wands here? Three of wands. Why is it here? Death. Okay. So with the death energy, I feel that for some of you, this is going to be a situation where um, you're going to have to transform your energy. You're going to have, have to transform yourself. 
Um, this is detaching from your old self and re being rebirth, you know? The death is being, I'm hearing the word rebirth. Some of you need to get out of where you were so that you can get to where you're going. You know, the death energy here is, you know, it can be painful transformation and change. You know, it's not always a simple, um, easy situation, you know, but it is um, something that needs to be done. Sometimes, listen, you have to die before you are rebirthed. You know, and sometimes you have to put something down. And here we go. Beautiful energy to finish the reading with, even though we still have two more cards that we need to clarify. You have here the fool. The universe is giving you with this transformation a whole new leap of faith. It's bringing in something for you that is brand new, new people, new road, you know, just a whole brand new life. You know, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to take work, okay? Because nothing comes, you know, from the sky, it just doesn't fall on your lap. But, you know, whatever you need to do, change is definitely here. And with that full energy, some of you are willing to step away from what no longer is for you. Um, why is the knave here? Making those plans. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Some of you are sending somebody a message and saying, you know what? It's time for me to change my life. It's time for me to change my path. And it's time for me to start making new plans. It's time for me to start using some brand new seeds so that I can really grow and nurture what I need to. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here? Queen of Swords, why is it here? For Virgo, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Here we go. Seven of Swords. I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was bitter, angry, and they made a decision, okay? And I'm going to tell you, some lies here were discovered, okay? This person, it's like they, they, they I don't know, I'm just kind of picking up that they did you dirty, they lied to you. They were not truthful. This was what broke your heart. Some of you discovered, you know what? I'm going to make a certain decision because this person was lying to me. You know, they could have been cheating. You know, this is two cheating cards. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a betrayal and this is a cheating. So for some of you, you, you know, it's time to know where you are. Figure out what is it that you are looking to build. Because <clears throat> with the three of swords and the seven of swords is, is ten swords. And ten swords is definitely an ending. And you already have the ending here with the ten of swords. So this is a definite ending, you know, that's going to bring you. You need to find your patience. You need to be, you know, you need to recover before you open up this brand new chapter. But you know what? Beautiful things are coming to those of you that make the change, okay? I am going to pull out one more message for the Seven of Swords, and it's the temperance, okay? Saying goodbye to the things that you no longer need and being patient about it. Saying, you know what? I know it's time for me to um, put things in order. I know that it's time for me to heal a certain situation. Listen, heal your heart, okay? When you heal your heart, you can open up your heart to new people and new things that you are definitely going to love, okay? So if somebody hurt you in the past, it's best to probably leave them in the past because there are new opportunities coming in for you, okay? Virgo, thank you so much for being here and take care.